And civil rights activist Merle Evers Williams also visibly moved by this historic decision. Yeah, she joins us uh, via telephone right now. Ms. Evers, how are you today? I am just fine. As a matter of fact, I'm excited okay. with what is happening in Mississippi today. Express that for us. Tell us what you feel right now. I'm sorry? Tell us about how you're feeling right now. Thankful, first of all, uh, that uh, the leadership in Mississippi has found it possible to eradicate a sign of separatism. My husband, Medica Evers, paid the supreme price for liberty, for the people in Mississippi, and particularly for his people, the people of color. Today is a day where I feel that we have become liberated, not only in mind, not only in thought, but also in deed. That is critically important, and it sends a message to all Mississippians, and it sends a message to the rest of the country that Mississippi is a part of these United States of America. We pledge allegiance to a flag where all of us are said to be created equal. My husband believed in that. He fought in World War II for this country. He gave his life on the doorsteps of our home, and he was shot in his back on June the 12th, 1963. He fought for things as such of what is happening today. I am so thrilled. I am very, very emotional about it all because it says Mississippi, the state of Medgar's birth, the state of my birth, is moving forward and hopefully will set an example for the rest of the country to explore its racial divisions and come to a point where we can say all of us are individuals under the flag of the United States of America. I love Mississippi. I was born in Vicksburg. I have gone through hatred because of what happened to my family, of my husband giving his life, and he knew that it would come to that. Giving his life for the state of Mississippi, for all people there, and for his country as he fought in World War II and continued to do so. I'm overwhelmed today with thanks. I'm overwhelmed today with emotion because I was not sure that I would live long enough to see this happen. It has happened. I have been able to witness it. I can add to, yes, I love Mississippi. To that I can add, as of this day, and when the new flag goes up, I can say I am proud that Mississippi, the land of my birth, has moved forward this far in the country in which I was born, the United States of America. It took decades for you to see justice for your husband. What would he say on this historic day? <laughs> Medgar would probably look at me and said, it's about time. <laughs> it's long overdue. But I know he would be deeply moved that Mississippi, the land of his birth, of my birth, has finally reached this point of becoming a real part of the dream, the promise of America. He would probably say, it's about time. It's past time. I fought for my country in World War II. I have served. I am thankful. I can't say exactly what he would say, of course, but I know those would be his thoughts. And I think he would add to that. It's time to continue Mississippi and the United States of America to move forward 
for we have seen so much destruction and pain in these last three weeks or so. He would probably say, I was assassinated June the 12th, 1963, but my memory, my work is still here. And for all Mississippians, he would issue a challenge. It is time to move forward together instead of divided. Mary Evers Williams, thank you so much for sharing some of your time and for sharing your thoughts with us on this historic day. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you.